<laughs> Yo Builder fam, welcome back. So we are here at the pool. It's hot, it's summertime. We want to open this sucker up. So I thought I would take the opportunity. Josh and I are back here. We're going to hook up the system again. A lot of you guys had questions, what fittings we were using, how we were attaching certain fittings, what kind of filtration we had. So I thought I would take the opportunity to go over that while we're setting this up to get ready for summer. So thank you guys for watching and follow along. I think you'll enjoy it. So we went to winterize the pool and the pillow ended up all the way over there. And now we got this thing to drain. <laughs> I'll tell you what guys, next, next time we go to winterize this thing, we got a few ideas of how to do this a lot better. So I guess you guys will have to, uh, you know, make sure you subscribe to see that, but we definitely have to deal with this before we can really get started on putting everything else together. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the process we're gonna use here is three major steps. First, we need to make sure the filter system is fresh and everything is properly set inside that piece of equipment. Then we can put together the pump assembly, then we're gonna to put together the lines. So we're gonna walk through each one of these steps and especially on the filter assembly, we're gonna get a little bit close up on there so you can guys actually see what we're talking about. So let's get started with that. Hey guys, get out of my face. <laughs> Also, when somebody needs to use a little uh, stainless steel sleeve, make sure you don't lose that. Hey guys, so it turns out 1% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out a lot. They're on an angle so that the tighter that it squeezes, the more it pushes on this and pulls down and clamps like a clamp. Inside here, there's a seal. Make sure you don't damage that seal. And underneath here, you're gonna see these fingers. And that's what we're gonna inspect right now to make sure that they're clean. Yeah, they're dirty and it stinks like a turtle tank. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is you don't really need to see it, but uh, we can take some live action shots. I'm gonna go bring us over. We're gonna squirt it off. And then uh, once we're done with that, there's a few more things inside here I'd like to explain. Remember everybody, if you like this video, Hit that like button, smash that subscribe, baby. See how they get whiter? The comparison? Oh, God, it's hot. Oh, look, a nice drink. <laughs> Product placement, LTTstore.com. If there's any information you need to know on this, you just come right down here. You get all of the information that you need is right here, especially this one. Amount diatomaceous earth in pounds, right there. So my model is for four pounds. If you wanna come up here, there's also something else inside this filter that if you tighten this coupling end right here too tight inside the unit, you will- Which coupling? This coupling right here. The coupling 
that connects the pump to the actual filter housing. Right here. This goes together, it's fairly simple. On off, compression fitting. Make sure they line up, otherwise we're gonna look like this. There we go. Nice little tug, doesn't have to be the tightest in the world. But if you look inside this unit, if you tighten this piece too much, get down in there, check that out. This piece right here, it's like a backflow preventer. If this piece isn't in there, it messes everything up. The first time I put this filter together and ran it, I ran that piece in too far. And what it is, it is it popped this clip out and it pulled this piece out. It's a little check valve. And nothing worked right. Everything was leaking back into the pump housing. So every year you wanna check. Clean this off, a little bit of water, pop it back in. That. There's a little notch in here that you got to line up. There we go. Pop that retainer clip back in. This part facing down. Because what it is, is it's letting the water, the water come in from the skimmer. It's coming back through the basket in through the pump. The pump is forcing it into the filter, which is passing through this check valve, coming down and shooting down, which is where all the diatomaceous earth, that four pounds of diatomaceous earth that I was telling you about, it lays right in the bottom of here. And what it's doing is any crap you got in there, any particulates that shouldn't be in there, algae, whatever, the diatomaceous earth is so fine, it's like Ginsu knives and it just chops it up. When it comes up, it pushes everything up through these filters and this filter media. There's plastic, hard plastic inside here, and it goes up back out here to the return eye, back to the pool. Make sure you put it in properly. And a port important part about this here's the uh, seal that I was telling you about if you get a leak you got to make sure that this seal is clean properly clean which it isn't right now I'm rubbing my dirty hands on it but I'll, I'll clean it again but that'll be off camera <laughs> but once this comes on it's gonna go back inside like I said and it will sit in that groove right here and then you can turn it whichever way we need it to make the pipes connect, that clamp will go on, squeeze, create the seal. If you're getting leaking out of there and you're, you've, you've got it tightened on as much as you possibly can, it's time for a new one of the fingers, the, the finger filter media. That piece in the center of it, located in the center, is a stainless steel pin with a C-clip. You pop that C-clip off with a screwdriver, these pop right off. And you can change these out. Go to any pool store, they should be able to uh, at least order you one. If they don't have it in stock. And yes, the fat one is the plumber. You just gotta figure out which one. Alright, so now we actually get to install some of this pipe work. So, 
there's a couple things that you need to keep in mind and this is one question that you guys have had pretty consistently is what fittings did we use we used unions on this the unions make it so you can actually take the pipe apart without damaging anything and put it back together so it makes it a serviceable piece serviceable meaning when winter time comes along you don't want water sitting in your pipes to freeze up and break so you, you take them out and then they don't freeze either way it makes it easy to put the whole thing together there's one thing you do need to keep in mind when you're using unions is the seals pvc unions use rubber o-rings for the seals and in our case we actually have two different well three different kinds of unions so we have to keep track of three different sizes of o-rings so it's important to make sure you always have the right o-rings in the right positions in this case we actually went ahead and figured out which o-rings went where ahead of time so i have them laid out not very difficult there's a groove that the o-ring sits into i can demonstrate this go ahead and zoom in on this one here so there's a groove right in the fitting that the o-ring sits in if you really want like if you have a loose o-ring that's not cracked and is still subtle so it's a good o-ring it just doesn't want to sit in there you can actually take a little bit of possibly a little bit of plumber's putty or if you really need to a tiny bit of silicon just to hold it in place not to glue it in place just to hold it there until you get it together we don't need to use that because these ones are still fitting pretty nicely so all you do is you make sure that o-ring is in there correctly slide the collar over and thread her together then the same thing up here so make sure the o-ring's in place just like that it fell oh sometimes it's not easy yeah maybe we'll do that one first get the o-ring in place hold it in place Slide the collar over. Don't tighten it all the way down, but you can give it a little wiggle to make sure that it actually is seating correctly. Then we come over here, obviously again, make sure the O-ring's in place, bring this fitting over. This is something that may seem small, but it's definitely worth paying attention to. It saves your headaches. Now that you have the pipe in place, give it a wiggle to make sure it's good. Then you can tighten down the collars. You ain't got to crank that hard. Just hand tight should be good enough. Remember, this is PVC. You don't want to break it. <clears throat> so there's that pipe. Now we move on to the next. Now in this case, we did not tighten down the head of the filter because this needs to sit at a specific 45 degree angle. So we'll ring in here. Slide the collar over. And then we can do the same thing here but this time we need to make sure the head, which is pretty tight, loosen up on these just a little bit, a little bit more. There we go. Now that we got the wiggle room in here, so we're gonna, again, this has to be turned to line up and this is why you don't tighten anything down until it all is fit together. So we snug that up. Snug this up. Now we're going to put this collar together. Mm. 
And there you have it. Adding unions to your pipework makes a huge difference in how serviceable your equipment is. Had we not had unions in here, then we'd have to be sawing pipe apart and putting couplings in, and that's, that's, that's just no good. So it's really that easy when you take the time to pay attention to the details. All right, guys, unfortunately, we can't go any further with this whole thing because we need water circulation in order to add the filter element, which is the diatomaceous earth. We can't have water circulation right now because we're still trying to drain the cesspool that's in there currently. <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to come back and you'll have to watch part two of this here opening video. <laughs> oh, pool, you know, summertime pool opening. I didn't even script that one. Uh, <laughs> video so we can actually get the whole thing started up. Uh, there is a specific way you're supposed to add the diatomaceous earth to the system. Another note that Josh brought up is we mentioned using unions in the pipework, but we didn't mention if you, if you want to upgrade so that you don't need a ball valve and a union, you can get them all in one. It's called a union ball valve. Uh, they're a little more expensive, but it could save you space if, if space is something you need. There you go. Well, There's the ball in the valve. It's not <laughs> supposed to fall apart. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. This has been good. Appreciate the viewership. Really do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video, which you know you did. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh, Jesus. There's... There's bugs. There's bugs growing in it. <laughs> what is that they say? Oh, man. A few hours later, I'm still there.